Hello viewers, today I will show how to fix most common problem on hub motors, which is hole sensors. Hole sensors are three small magnetic transistors located inside in the motor. They are sensors that feedback to the controller the position of the rotor. Now, I have a mini electric bike in front of me, which is came for repair. I was immediately recognized the problem just from the sound of the motor. As you hear, very loud and strange sound came from the motor and in some positions making a ticking sound. Now I will show you how to do a complete motor check to confirm the problem. First of all, we disconnect the three power wires. Then we have to short two wires from the three. In this case we short the green with the yellow wire. After that, tear the wheel in opposite direction. You must feel resistance from the wheel. In this case I have very strong resistance. As you can see, if I leave the power wires, the wheel will turn freely. Next we connect the yellow with the blue wire and we do the same process. And again I have a strong resistance. The last connection is three power wires connected together. In this case, I have the most strong resistance. That means that all motor coils is good. If you do not feel any resistance, then you know that the motor power coil is burned or cut. Now, let's see how to check hole sensors of the motor. First, we must find the hole sensor wiring connector, which came from the motor with the power wires. This sensor wires is usually 5 to 6 thin wires. First red wire is 5 volts to powering the sensors. Second yellow wire, which is a first signal output. Third wire is green, which is a second sensor signal output. Fourth is a blue wire, which is a third sensor signal output. The fifth wire is white, which is a speed signal output from the motor. And the last black wire is the ground. To check for faulty sensor, first of all we must turn on the controller to give 5 volts power to sensors. Next step is to check voltage output from the red and black wires. Must be about 5 volts. Next is to measure the ground black with the first sensor output which is blue and turn the wheel in opposite direction. If the multimeter shows on or 5 volts it means that the sensor operating normally. Next we must check the second sensor which is a green wire, which is show also on of 5 volts and also it's operating normally. Next sensor wire is yellow. As you can see the multimeter showing constant 5 volts. That means the sensor is defective. There are many reasons that can damage the whole sensor inside in the motor. For example, shorted wires of high voltage three phase power wires with the thin wires of the whole sensors. Or cutted wires from the motor shaft side, which is a quite common problem. So, let's disconnect the controller wires to take off the motor and find the defective sensor.
from the serial number of the hub motor, we can see the operating voltage and wattage of the motor, which is 36 watts and 240 watts. And because we open the motor now, it is a very good chance for a full maintenance. This mechanical part of the hub motor is called planetary gears. That's why we call it geared hub motor. For long service life of the motor, make careful inspection on plastic gears. Any fragments inside must be removed. Here is the speed sensor of hub motor, the white wire of connector, and the magnet which activates the sensor. And here is the sensors, the yellow one, the blue one, and the green. From the color you can recognize the sensor. As you can see, the signal output is yellow. And this is the problematic sensor. Let's check it for a last time without power of 5 volts from the controller, only with multimeter. Connecting the red terminal of the multimeter to the red cable and with the negative terminal of the multimeter we measure the output of the sensor. The indication should be around 1.300. As you can see, the output of the yellow sensors does not have the indication we want on the terminal. From there we confirm that the sensors are problematic. Now if we connect the positive terminal of the multimeter to ground and with the negative terminal of the multimeter we measure outputs of the sensor we must get an indication about 0.600. And again as you can see from the yellow sensor we have not any indication. Like that, we confirm that the yellow sensor is 100% problematic. Guys, note that all gear hub motors are 90% same with other geared hub motors. So, do not be afraid to open them because everything is similar with this hub motor which we open now.